Looks like we missed a turn. Mama goes in with two cups. This could get interesting. We are now just on the outskirts of Banff on the eastern border, but it has taken us three hours to get here. We drove south and then two hours on a dirt road. And we were at the Yahatinda horse camp and this is actually the only working horse ranch in the Canada Park System. This is where they train all the horses that they use uh, for the backcountry rangers in the Western Canada Parks. Free camping here. And the reason why we drove all the way out of the way two hours down this dirt road was obviously beautiful, not crowded like the rest of Banff, but there is something here called the Scalp Creek Slides, a natural water slide. We figured it on our last day in Banff, in Alberta. Let's hit off this slide. So after further research, it appears that this is a two and a half to three hour horseback ride, round trip to get to this slide. So not exactly sure how long of a hike it's gonna take, but we only have about four hours till sunset. So there might be some sliding in the dark perhaps happening. Set up the tent. We have no idea where we're going. Mama goes in with two cubs um, that's working on some carrion that's been left over by the hunters. So we're just informed by some people that pass by on horseback that a grizzly bear, mother and her cubs, has been spotted. And possibly another grizzly has been spotted down here. So, not sure if we want to be hiking back in the dark in an active grizzly area, but we're going to keep pushing on for now. Looks like we missed a turn. We're not pointing any fingers on who's to blame. Oh my god, I said stay on the road. <laughs> right, right. We're not pointing any fingers. <laughs> who's to blame, ma'am? I said let's stay on the road. But we missed the turn. But we should have But we on are on a road. I don't know if you guys can we see. We should have stayed on the other road. Don't walk in that puddle. <laughs> Bears love muddy boots. They love to chew on them for a snack. We probably could have been there by now, but anyway, it's always a good idea if you're walking through bear country, take the long way around. Well, now we've cut back up this cut line here, kind of back uphill way in the direction we came from, sort of, but moving through this burn area definitely has an eerie vibe. However, it does make it easier. Keep an eye out for those bears. Well, after nine miles, we're somewhere on Scalp Creek. You know, we've, we've hit these areas that look like they could be considered slides, although there's no, there's no pools at the bottom. So nine miles one way, we got about half hour, 40 minutes till dark. No bear, bear sightings yet, but definitely want to keep an eye out for those, especially in the dark. Don't want to be hiking out too late in the dark. So gonna go up this maybe another 15 minutes if we find it we find it if not heading back enjoy some dinner okay well there's something up here not sure if okay yep I think this is it I think I think these are possibly the slide we were looking for It's frigid. Uh, really cold, even with the wetsuit. I'm a little scared. It's almost dark. All right, let's go. <laughs> the water is super cold, and here's my dilemma. I did not bring my wetsuit. Sam brought hers, she's already gone twice. I'm thinking I'm gonna just do it and warm up on the hike back. I'm just gonna do one, one good one. We'll see what happens. I should listen to my wife and bring my wetsuit, I should've. But what are you gonna do? This may be a really bad mistake. Oh 
Oh my God. Guys, this has been an amazing day. Drove three hours out in the middle of nowhere to this horse ranch. Hiked nine miles through grizzly bear country with active grizzly bears feeding on an elk nearby. Made it to this ice cold water slide, which I went down multiple times, no wetsuit. This place is amazing. Ton of like black slate, the dead tree forest, the secondary growth forest, the mountains in the backside here, the eastern slopes of these Banff Mountains, the, the Canadian Rockies. What a tremendous day. This was the perfect way to end our time in Canada with a bang. Guys, plenty more coming. Stay tuned, get out there, find your adventure, and be infamous. Hey, Bear. Hey, Bear. Tastes like salt and vinegar potato chip. I also taste like mini Oreo and the new Stevia Coho Zero. Have not come across any bears yet. However, a light drizzle has begun to moisten my face and also the top of my head. So we are uh, coming up with several variations of the Hey Bear song. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, don't eat me, bear. Take my hand. We'll make it, I swear. What else we got? Bears. Dun, 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 dun. Bears, bears, bears. Amazing bear. How sweet the sound of the bear that didn't eat me. We are the bears. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brother. So let's start giving. Infamous.